Hi, and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, I'm going to highlight eight metaverse projects that I expect to do really, really well. Do let me know in the comments below what metaverse projects you think I may have missed off. Uh, really interested to get your views and opinions. Um, don't forget, if you like this sort of content and you want to support the channel, mash up that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tapping that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. Right, let's get down to the desktop and have a look at the eight metaverse projects I'm calling out to do really, really well. Okay, so the first one, you know, this is one that, um, you know, a lot of our viewers have been talking about an awful long time, right? And that is Meta Hero. Uh, we don't really tend to talk about it uh, outside of the live streams, but, you know, it's a project that's always kind of been on the radar. Currently down just under 6% at 0 0.2276. Now, I expect a, a further sort of pullback, um, but overall, I think there's some, some fantastic opportunities with this project. And uh, obviously, you know, I'm not going to sort of dig into to the project in, in too much detail, but, you know, it is a really, really interesting project where you can potentially sort of, you know, get your, your, your 3D, um, you know, uh, avatar of yourself, right? Um, which is, which is crazy to, to think. So great technology and um, one to, to definitely dig into um, and do your research, right? But um, one that we, you know, really do like and we expect to do really, really well. <clears throat> Moving on, um, a Torah, and um, this one's at uh, zero point two three seven, down eight point five two percent. Now you're going to find that a lot of these are, have pulled back in line with the market, but you know these projects have you know seen some fantastic pumps recently, um, and this is again is another one that we really really do like. Power in the future of gaming again. This video isn't really to sort of dig into to, to these projects in great detail, but it's more just to highlight them to you and, um, you know, let you go go away and do your research, right? These projects, are, I really do rate every single one of them, right? Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm not invested. I'm, well, I'm invested in one of them. We'll come into that in a moment. But, you know, outside of one of these projects, I'm, I'm not invested in, in any others, right? Um at the moment but that might change because we've got the bear market and um you know there are plenty of of risk when you uh consider um metaverse projects in my humble opinion because i don't think they're really at that stage where where you think they are in your mind right i think um, there's still lots of development that needs to happen for metaverse projects and uh, because of that, I think, you know, you're going to get this pump up where everybody's talking about it because of Facebook and the, the change of their name to Meta. And ultimately, I think there's going to be massive pullbacks for, for a lot of these projects. And, um, you know, the bear market is where you're going to pick up some fantastic opportunities in these projects because, you know, I don't think it's going to be until the end of 2022 before we really start to see some of these projects really sort of come to life. But that's just my humble opinion, um, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video should be treated as educational purposes only. Um, and and there are risks around metaverse projects in the bear cycle, right? You know, there's going to be an awful lot of projects popping up and not all of them are going to survive a bear market, just to be really clear with everybody. Um, not that I'm trying to scare you away from any of these projects, but Poker City, again, another solid project, $1.84, down 13% uh, at the moment. So, you know, there's some fantastic deals on, on offer at the moment. I do think we're going to see further pullbacks for, for metaverse but, you know, time will tell, right? No crystal ball, as uh, certain other influencers say. So, um, you know, fantastic opportunity to to purchase, like, all sorts of different um, NFT uh, in-game um, products, right? Um, with, you know, cars, helicopters, boats, the lot goes on, right? So really, really do like Poker City. So do dig into this one. And then you've got Atari token, um, 0 0.1211, down 21%. I think this is an absolute steal at the moment. And again, one to, to really sort of dig into um, so much more than video games. And uh, yeah, you know, this is, again, a stacked team, good good tech, and uh, one that I expect to do really, really well. So do dig into to this project. Do let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on all of these as well. Um, so 
This is the only um, one that we've got on Evi.io, currently rated A2, right? So when I'm saying that you know, I think this is a fantastic opportunity, don't just take my word for it. It's A2 rated on Evi.io. So for those of you that don't know what Evi.io is, it's an impartial um, rating platform for crypto projects, right? Um, utilizing artificial intelligence and machine learning with no human intervention. So, you know, don't just take my word for it. Let's have a look here. So the, the AMIHAD ratio is A2. So A1 would be the highest possible rating. We've never seen an A1. We've the highest we've ever seen is A2 for overall. Um, so AMIHAD ratio is bang on. Your sharp ratio is spot on. Your profitability is A1, so that's solid. Your peak end value demand is B2, so that is pulling it down and stopping this one from being a A1 uh, rated cryptocurrency. Um, your moving average is A2, so that's that's great. And your fear and greed index is A2. Um, so, you know, again, it's fantastic. So expect big things for, for Atari and, um, you know, even the artificial intelligence uh, agrees with me. Not that I'm surprised. Moving on, UFO Gaming, uh, super cheap at the moment. And, um, you know, it, again, the huge supply is what's going to keep this one at these sorts of uh, price levels, in my opinion, 4.22% down. Um, again, another project that, you know, it's got a lot of back in um you know from a um from i guess investors but also influencers um so one to definitely dig into and uh, again one that i think is going to do you know really promising things in this space moving on we've got sin city metaverse um currently at the time of recording at 0 0.3959 down just under six percent Again, I think this is going to be one of those games that does really, really well. Uh, kind of reminds me a bit of uh, Grand Theft Auto in a way. Um, but, you know, you can be, um, you know, create your very own uh, rated R metaverse um, around the world. Play to earn, housing, multiple gaming projects and all that sort of stuff. One to really dig into. Again, I expect this to, to be one of those that does, you know, pretty well. Um, but do dig into it. And then we've got a Cardano one here. Again, I think this is the one that, you know, you, you, you can go purchase land on. Uh, I say, I think I know. You, you can go purchase land on. I think this is one of the first on Cardano. Again, I expect it to do really, really well. So, you know, definitely sort of dig into this one in, in a bit of detail. You know, again, you can purchase land and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm not going to... Oh, there we go. So, yeah, you can, you know, click purchase land and all that sort of stuff. Again, I think, you know, there's still so much more uh, to come, but this is very popular. Cardano is a very, um, you know, it's got a very big community. So this project, you know, purchasing land, you know, over time, it could be worth an awful lot of money. Um, for me, again, a fantastic project, you know, with heaps of potential. Moving on to the eighth and final project, and that's Cornucopius. This is one we've had the team on the channel. Nick and myself have purchased um commercial land in um their their game uh, really looking forward for to, to when this one goes live and um yeah again and you know a solid team that you know also come from from a marketing background which i think is really important self-funded um to, to start off with again i really like that aspect it's a bit different to what we tend to see normally i'm um, going to be on the cardano ecosystem uh, you know, it's not just uh, play to earn, it'll be learn to earn as well um, and build to earn. So, you know, again, people can play for free. You get your own bubble when you start and that won't cost anything. You can purchase land in the sort of commercial zones, which like Nick and myself have done. Um, but yeah, there's so much, you know, to to, to come from, from these sorts of, of projects, right? So, you know, we've covered quite a few projects there, right, that I think are going to do really well eight in total i've really tried to stay away from the likes of sandbox and decentraland that have you know made tremendous gains already not to suggest that they're not going to continue to do that i think they will um but i think you know there's some other projects that you know have got really really good fundamentals great tech that sat behind them and they've got awesome teams right and i've tried to call out some of them here uh, i expect big things from some of these um, projects but do let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are 
Uh, really interested to know and do let me know if I've missed any that you think I should have called out. Um, so with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget if you did and you want to support the channel, mash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tapping that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a thing and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.